Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom, and today I'm taking a look at the Tanger Outlets Mall, which is part of the Foxwoods Resort Casino in Mashantucket, Connecticut. After I'd posted my video on the Brass Mill Center Mall in Waterbury, Connecticut, I thought I'd seen all the malls in Connecticut, until somebody in the comments mentioned that there's a mall here at the Foxwoods Casino. And I think the reason I didn't know this was here, other than the fact that I've never been here before, is that when you search for malls in Connecticut, this does not come up. You have to search for Tanger Outlets, and it does come up that way. But I think you'll see here in a minute that this very clearly is a mall. This mall opened in 2015, and basically to get into the mall, you have to go through the casino, as far as I can tell. So this is one entrance, and then you go all the way through the mall, and you'll come out on the other side, and it'll empty you out into the casino again. And the mall is called the Tanger Outlets because it's made up primarily of outlet stores. But as you'll see, a lot of the stores are the same type of stores you'll see in a normal mall. This was filmed on a Sunday around noontime, and I believe this probably is one of the busier times for this mall. In case anybody's wondering, I did have to mute a lot of the audio in this video and replace it because as this is a casino, they were literally blasting the music. It was probably the loudest music I've ever heard at a mall. So if I had left it in the video, I would have gotten a ton of copyright claims and that's no good. The layout of this mall is fairly unusual. I've, I've never been to a mall laid out like this before. Uh, there's three levels. This is the first level, which is very small, as you can see. Then the second level has most of the stores. And then there's a third level, which is also about the size of this first level here. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell. It helps a lot. Thanks. While this mall was built in 2015, which makes it only about eight years old at the time of filming, it looks much older to me, and I think that's because of the architecture or the design here. As you can see, it's all white. So you come from the casino, which is very bright, colorful, looks like an arcade, and then you come into this sterile white bland looking mall. It's it's kind of shocking how big a difference there is between the casino and the mall. I'm not sure why they did that exactly, uh, but you can definitely tell when you're in the mall versus when you're the, in the casino. There's no doubt about it. The only thing I really like about the design of the mall are these chandeliers that are above us right now at the end of each escalator. They're okay and they're not the best. I've seen much better chandeliers at other malls especially like at the Sono collection, for example. That could easily be a chandelier you would have seen at a mall back in the 70s or 80s. Another unusual thing about this mall, in my opinion, is that there aren't any discernible anchor stores. You could probably argue that there are many anchor stores or there are none at all, because there's no clear-cut anchors like Macy's or Target or anything like that. They're all roughly the same size and they're all roughly the same prominence. So I don't know, maybe that's just because it's an outlet mall that there aren't any anchors, but it does feel a little bit unusual in that way.
There are a few closed storefronts in this mall. For example, on the left here where all the windows are blacked out, that used to be a store. I'm not sure what was in there. I did some research online you know, before doing this, but honestly, I couldn't find much at all on this mall. All I could find was the year it was built and the number of stores, which it says is 60. Uh, I don't know if that's the original number of stores or the stores that are currently open today, because it didn't feel like 60 stores, but I could be wrong. So if anybody's been here before, uh, let me know what stores have closed over the years. Here's another one of those chandeliers which, as you'll see as we go through the casino, it pales in comparison to anything that they have in the actual casino. There's another unknown closed storefront there on the right. There's another closed storefront on the left. And there may be more than one, I'm not really sure. So this does lead me to ask the question, is this a dead mall? I would say definitely not a dead mall at this point, but it is showing signs of dying. Because as you'll see, there are quite a few closed storefronts in there. And it's not amazingly busy, especially on a Sunday in the middle of a casino. And here's another closed storefront on the right. And I like how all the closed storefronts say, be here, amazing retail opportunities. And I seem to remember a similar sign at the Enfield Square Mall. So I guess what I'm trying to say is don't always believe what you read. And I don't think a mall would be complete without these massaging chairs here on the left. I always see people sitting in them, but I wonder how many people actually pay for the massaging feature versus just sitting in them. More closed stores here on the left. This sculpture is not bad because it's actually got some color to it, so I like that a bit more than the chandeliers. I think the Bath and Body Works there on the left proves definitively that this is a mall. If you think otherwise, let me know in the comments. And a bunch more closed storefronts. Yeah, I really don't think this mall is doing as well as you would think it would do. Again, in the middle of a thriving casino. It's definitely given me the vibe of a dying mall. Not a dead mall, but dying.
Now, I think this Zoltar here is the first one I've seen in a mall with my own eyes. I, I've seen them in other malls, I think, on YouTube, but I've never actually been to a mall that had one. So I had to try it out. Come closer and listen to what Zoltar has to tell you. Dream as if you live forever. Live as if you'll die today. That's right. You must live your days as if they were your last. Because one day, they will be. You know what I mean. So go on, have fun, and surrender more cash for more wisdom from the great Of course, Zoltar. spend money at the casino. So as you could hear, Zoltar was basically saying that, you know, your life is short, so spend more money at the casino, essentially. Kind of reminds me of uh, that line from A Christmas Story where it says, you know, drink more Ovaltine. Basically, it's an ad for the casino. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the third and final floor of the mall. And again, the chandelier is not bad, but it really feels like something from the 70s. I'm not sure if this restaurant was out of business or it just hadn't opened yet. But again, this was Sunday at noon, so you would think it would have been open if it was still in business. So now we technically are at the end of the mall, as you can see there on that sign up there saying, thank you for shopping at the Tanger Outlets. However, don't go anywhere because it keeps going. There's a lot more to this casino and there's a lot more stores and shopping, which again, technically aren't part of the mall, but they feel like they're part of the mall in my opinion. So stick around, we've got a lot more to see. There's Guy's Kitchen on the left. That's one of Guy Fieri's restaurants, which I've never seen before. I, I don't think there's any others around here, as far as I know. Um, we ended up going there for lunch. I had a burger of some sort. I forget what they called it. They don't have any regular burgers or anything. It's all really fancy stuff. It was 20 bucks, but it tasted good. I can't really complain. So I do recommend it. Now, I don't gamble, and I didn't think it was really appropriate to film the gambling up close so I just walked around the gambling machines and you can get an idea of obviously what it's like and I think it actually said uh, you cannot use any electronic equipment if you're sitting at the machine so sitting at the machines and filming was not an option
the Foxwoods Casino is the second largest casino in the entire United States. So this place is enormous, and I could definitely see somebody getting lost in here. I have a pretty good sense of direction, so I was able to find my way through, but I can definitely see somebody getting lost. And they don't make it really easy to find your way out either, which might be intentional. We'll take a look at what's down there in just a minute. So now let's take a look and see what's down here. And this is all restaurants, uh, as well as the entrance to the hotel, or one of the entrances to the hotel. These restaurants did seem to be fairly fancy though, um, fancier than the others. Especially the one to the right there where there's a guy in a suit with his hands clasped in front of his waist. It just seemed uh, very... I don't know, like you're not getting in unless you're wearing a suit and tie type thing. This one right here, you can't see him from that position, but there was a guy standing there. Kind of intimidating. The High Rollers Club, I think it is. And that's pretty much all there is down here, so let's head back up. From what I understand, there might be another shopping mall at the um, Mohegan Sun Casino, which is just a few miles down the road from here. If anybody's been there before, let me know. Is there a mall there? I looked it up online, and it was hard to tell. There's definitely some shopping of some sort, but I just didn't see any pictures that told me for sure that it's an actual mall. This part of the casino slash mall reminds me a lot of the Hampshire Mall in Hadley, Mass, where they have that food court that kind of looks like a, a little town. It's kind of a similar vibe here.
If you're not into gambling or even if you're not into shopping, a good reason to come out here if you're in the area especially is if you're looking for great restaurants. Because as you can see, there's a ton of restaurants here. A lot of them are very high quality. And there are also a lot of restaurants that I just don't see at any other areas in Connecticut. A lot of these are not in any of the other malls I've been to. And honestly, that's probably the only reason I would ever come back here would be for the restaurants. Because again, I don't gamble and none of those uh, stores really interested me that much. And then in addition to the quote unquote fancy restaurants, they also have this food court here, which has a lot of less expensive fast food type stuff as well. If you've watched a lot of my other mall videos, you might know that my favorite part of any mall are the water fountains. And they do have them here. They've got water fountains. Or water features probably would be a better description. It reminds me a lot of how malls used to be back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, where pretty much every mall had water fountains. And I think now in Connecticut, the only remaining mall that has a water fountain other than this one is the Stamford Town Center. Now there's a more common sight there, an escalator that's not working. So I actually had wanted to go down there to take a look at that, but as you can see, the escalator going back up was not operational. And I'm not sure how I would have gotten back up here. I had read about this XT Dark Ride on their website, but it looks like it's out of service to me. On the left here, I think, is the Great Cedar Showroom, which is basically their auditorium where they have most of their concerts and comedy shows, etc.
This is Rainmaker Square, and of course my favorite part is the water fountain. Now the only thing I think that I like more than water fountains and malls and casinos are waterfalls. And they've got one. The other great thing about this was the smell. I don't know if you've ever smelled it before, but it's the smell you get at like Disney World on their dark rides in water. It's kind of like a chlorine slash other type of smell. I don't know how to really describe it, but it's a very distinctive smell. And they have it here. Which brings back great memories for me, mostly of Disney World. Yeah. We get your picture taken down by the one fire pump. It's not fun. We also have a Hard Rock Cafe here, which as far as I know is the only Hard Rock Cafe in Connecticut. Or again, at least it's the first Hard Rock Cafe I've ever seen in Connecticut. That was actually my first choice for lunch, but my mom overruled me and we decided to go to uh, Guy's Kitchen, as I said earlier. And I wasn't disappointed again. But next time if we're here, we're going to the Hard Rock.
Now, I believe we're at the far end of the casino here. As far as I can tell, beyond this, there's nothing but hotel rooms. But don't go anywhere because there is some more of the casino that we didn't see earlier. So now we're back where we started. The entrance to the Tanger Outlets was there to the left. And this is beyond that, of course. So we're going to take a walk around here and see what else there is. This is the Premier Theater, which I think is another auditorium similar to the uh, Great Cedar showroom that we saw earlier. And as I had said, we're clearly not in the mall anymore, but, you know, they still have stores. So to me, spiritually, this still feels like part of the mall. Straight ahead here, we're coming up on one of the lobbies of, I think, one of the hotels. I'm not sure which one, but the reason I wanted to come here was because, of course, they have a water fountain. And there's also a water fountain, as you can maybe see there, behind their front desk along the wall. There's water pouring down, which I think is pretty cool. And also, these chandeliers are far superior to the, you know, the plain white chandeliers they have in the Tanger outlets. And there you have it. That's the Tanger Outlets Mall, as well as the Foxwoods Casino in Mashantucket, Connecticut. I hope you liked the video. I actually enjoyed filming this one a lot more than most of the other malls I've been to. 
So if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.